Hi guys, welcome to Lisa K Pilates. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Lisa K. Today we are looking at my Pilates for Total Beginners Level 3 workout. So if you're brand new to Pilates, my suggestion is go and have a look at my Pilates Fundamentals video, which is only eight and a half minutes long. Start with that and then go to Total Beginners 1, 2, and then come here to 3. Slight progression with each one. Okay, so we are going to be starting in a seated position today. Now, as always, it's really good to have a cushion and a blanket or a towel so that you can either sit using those or place them behind your head, whichever feels better for you. Okay, so we're starting seated today uh, for a roll down. So you can sit on your cushion, you can use your blanket or towel as well if you want to. Um, the key thing here is you want to be able to sit as comfortably upright as possible right on top of your sitting bones with your legs in front of you. So if you're on the mat and you feel that you're tilting back, it's a really good idea to get yourself up a little bit higher. Okay, now I don't actually need those so I'm going to take them away but please do use them if it makes you feel more comfortable and it helps you to achieve that nice upright but comfortable position. Okay, legs are hip distance apart and parallel in front of you. Hands are just resting on your shins and you're going to imagine there's a wall behind you. You're going to peel your spine off the wall. So let's start with a slow, easy inhale. Think of sitting a fraction taller. Then on your exhale, start with your eyes. So glide your eyes down towards your toes, then your chin, and you're peeling down through your spine bit by bit. Relax through your neck and your shoulders. Inhale, nice and gently stack up your spine, coming all the way up. Let's do that again. So inhale, sit a little bit taller. Exhale, eyes glide down, chin glides down, and you're peeling down from the top of your spine. just a little bit and roll all the way up. So we're just thinking of getting our core connected as well as our breath. So breathing in and breathing out as you peel down. Abdominals roll all the way up. Okay, you're gonna lie down onto your mat and get yourself comfortable. So remember, as I said, if you want to, if it's more comfortable for your neck, if you're arching your neck, then you're gonna pop your towel behind your head if you need it, okay? Make sure, key thing is always that you feel comfortable. Line your heels up with your sitting bones and walk your feet away so they're not too close, they're not too far. Take a little rock up and down through your pelvis. So to do that, we wanna really focus on how much range of movement we've got but it also helps us to find our neutral position, which is our safest, our most shock absorbing position. And your neutral lies roughly midway between your two rocks. So just find that comfortable midway position. Just being aware you wanna have a little bit of space under your lower back so you're not pushing the back down or flattening, but nor are you overarching. Just nice and level. Think of relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your neck. And we'll do just a little bit of breathing here. So take a slow, easy inhale again. And exhale. And as you exhale, get that sense of gentle lift internally, gentle tightening of those lower tummy muscles. That's going to help to keep your lower back nice and stable. Do that two more times. Breathing in and breathing out. One more time. Breathing in. And as you exhale, this time float your arms up towards the ceiling. We're gonna do some scapular isolations. So focusing on the shoulder blades, getting really nice movement and warming up through that area. From here, imagine you're holding a box in your hands. And as you inhale, reach the imaginary box up. So feel your shoulders draw apart. And as you exhale, melt your shoulder blades back down again. So you feel nice and wide across your chest. You're gonna do that again. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale to slide and glide down. One more. Inhale up and exhale down. Beautiful. Now we're going to take that into an arm circle. I'm just going to move my cushions out of the way. 
arm circles, warming up a little bit more through your shoulders. As you inhale, float your arms overhead, and as you exhale, circle around. Do that again, inhale, float over. Now keep life through your abdominals so that you're not allowing your back to arch. And exhale as you circle. Do that again, inhale, exhale. Keeping those abs switched on, inhale, exhale. Now let's reverse that, go wide on the inhale, exhale, come straight down the middle. Inhale, exhale. Two more, breathe in, Breathe out, just warming up through your shoulders. Inhale and exhale. Okay, we're gonna go into our ab curls next. Two choices here. So choice number one, if you want to, you're gonna place your hands around your head, you're gonna wrap your thumbs around the base of your skull, wrap your fingers so that you're creating a nice little cradle for your head. If you feel you need a little bit more support for your head, however, you can hold on to the corners of your mat and you can use that as a little hammock instead. So choose whichever one you think is best for you. I'm gonna take the hands behind the head, ready for our ab curls. Now, as you inhale, start your ab curl with a tiny little head nod. That just sets our head into a nice position. On your exhale, sink through your sternum, roll the ribs down and curl forwards so you're looking just above your knees. Take an inhale here and an exhale as you roll down. Let's do that again. So inhale, nod the chin, glide your eyes down a little bit. And as you exhale, drop the ribs down to the hips at the front of your body and curl. Take an inhale here and an exhale down. Let's do that again. So inhale, nod and exhale, curl, ribs to hips. Inhale, hold, exhale down. Again, please, inhale and exhale. Make sure you feel nice and relaxed with your neck and shoulders. Take an inhale and exhale down. We're gonna add on to that. So inhale, nod, exhale, curl and hold. Beautiful, now reach your fingers towards your toes. Think about your abs, think of drawing your ribs down a little more and curl just a little bit further. Bring your hands back to your head and come all the way down. Let's try that again. Inhale, nod. Exhale, curl. Inhale to reach. Exhale, drop your ribs and curl deeper just a little bit. Bring the hands back to the head. Come all the way down. Now notice how I'm staying and keeping my neutral here. I'm not tucking my bottom under or flattening my lower back. All about that curl from the upper body. Let's do it one more time like that. Inhale, nod. Exhale, curl. Inhale to reach. Exhale, curl deeper. Bring the hands back to the head and come down. Now we're gonna add on to this, taking it in to a set of hundreds. So inhale to nod and exhale to curl. Inhale, reach. Curl deeper and hold. Now we're gonna do our hundreds here. Keeping the feet down, we have 100 arm beats. We breathe in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, and in, and out. And in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, and in, two, three, four, five, and out. Keep going if you can. Now, if you're feeling any neck strain, you can pop your head down. Stay lifted if you can, though, as long as you're not feeling any neck strain and keep your body nice and still, just your arms moving. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Three more sets. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Two more. Exhale, two, three, four, five. One more. Exhale, two, three, four, five. One more for luck. Exhale, two, three, four, five. You're gonna hold and reach. I think that was 100. It may have been 90, may have been 100, may have been 110, but who's counting? And you're gonna curl down with control. Mm -hmm. From there, just nice and gently turn your head from side to side. So try and get rid of any of that stress in your necks. Okay, from here, you're gonna turn around. Onto your tummy, we're gonna go for some breaststrokes. 
So, we're we going to start today with our breaststroke prep number two. Hands are going to go down by your hips. You're going to have the tip of your nose towards the mat. Have a little bit of life in your glutes and your legs and allow your shoulders to roll forwards. Now, as you inhale, you're gonna very gently bring your shoulders to neutral. So get that sense of width across your chest. On your exhale, just hover your upper body and your arms just off the mat. So you're in a lovely long, low torpedo position. Take an inhale here and an exhale as you come down and allow your shoulders to roll forwards. You're gonna do that again. So inhale to gently set the shoulders. Exhale, go for lovely length. Take an inhale here and an exhale as you come down. Again, please, inhale, find that lovely neutral with your shoulders. Exhale, think of long and low with your body, just hovering off the mat. Take an inhale and exhale everything down. One more like that, inhale and exhale long and low. Take an inhale and come down. Now from here, take your hands under your forehead. You're gonna super glue your forehead and your hands together. Be aware not to let your shoulders come up by your ears. So keep nice and long with your neck. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, you can bring the head and the hands off the mat. Keep it long and low in that hover position. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, come down. So shoulders away from the ears. Take an inhale. Keep a little bit of life in the abs and the glutes. And as you exhale, just come to that hover. Take an inhale and exhale down. We're gonna do three more of these. Inhale and exhale. And remember, go for length much more than height with this one. You don't wanna feel it in your lower back. It wants to feel comfortable. <laughs> inhale and exhale down. Two more. Inhale, exhale, easy hover. Inhale, exhale down. And last one, breathing in and breathe out, find that hover. Breathing in and exhale down. Okay, from here you're gonna have a shell stretch. So let's come up, let's come over and just allow your back to relax in this position. Allow your arms to relax, they can be forwards or they can be back. Always pop your blanket or under your forehead if you prefer. Okay, from here you're gonna roll up. We're gonna go for a spine twist next. So you're gonna be sitting cross-legged. You can sit on your cushion, uh, you can sit on your blanket, or you can sit on both. I'm gonna sit on my cushion because it's a little bit more comfortable for me in a cross-legged position. So you're gonna stay directly on top of your sit bones for spine twist. We're gonna be bringing the arms out to the sides. Make sure they feel nice and comfortable and you feel tall with your body, but not rigid. From here, take an easy inhale. And as you exhale, rotate your whole body to one side. Inhale, coming back to center. Now my arms are out, but I'm not moving from my arms. I'm moving from my spine, from my rib cage. So let's go the other way. Exhale, rotate the whole of the rib cage. And inhale, coming back to center. You're gonna do that again. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. And exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. Now let's go for three little breaths as we do this. So you're going to rotate as far as you can. Exhale, rotate. Release, go further. Release, go further. And come back to center. Other way, rotate as far as you can. Exhale. Release, go further. Release, go further. And coming back to center, nice and tall. Do it again. Exhale, rotate for three. Release, go further. Two. Release, go further, one. Inhale, center. Another way, exhale, rotate for three. Release, go further, two. Really tall as you rotate, one. Coming back to center, let's do one more each way. Exhale, rotate, three. And two. And one. Coming back to center. And last one, spiral up for three. And two. And one. Coming back to center and relax your arms down. Okay, you're gonna come off your cushion, but we're gonna come uh, in a seated position towards the front of our mats for a half roll back. 
You're gonna stay right on top of your sitting bones. Again, tall but comfortable spine. Arms in front of you if you can for a half roll back. Now, if you feel you need some support, you can place your hands underneath your knees. But if you can, you're gonna bring your arms forwards, okay? So from here, take an inhale. And as you exhale, engage your tummy muscles, draw them in gently, tuck your tailbone and scoop and roll back into your C shape. Take an inhale here. And as you exhale, come all the way up. We're gonna do that again. So breathing in and breathe out. So think of engaging your tummy first, tuck your tailbone and roll. You're rolling your tailbone underneath you, creating a gentle C shape. Take an inhale and exhale as you come up. Let's do that again. Exhale, scoop and roll back. Now keep the tummy scooping for this one. Take an inhale and exhale to come back. We're gonna add some arms into this. So turn your palms in to face each other. Take an inhale. As you exhale, scoop and roll back and you're gonna maintain your position now. Make sure you feel comfortable. As you inhale, lift the arms. As you exhale, lower. Do that two more times. Lift and lower. One more, lift and lower. Coming all the way up to the top. Let's do that again. So exhale, scoop and roll back. Create that C and then lift and lower. So we're using the arms to challenge our position and lower. Again, lift, lower, come all the way up to the top. We're doing that one more time. So exhale, scoop and roll back and lift and lower. Again, please lift, lower, lift, lower, come all the way up to the top. Now take a slow inhale. And as you exhale, you're gonna roll all the way down to the mat nice and slowly. Exhale, roll. Now, if you need help, you can place your hands under your legs. Otherwise, keep reaching. Roll, roll, coming all the way down. Okay, from here, we're going into a single leg stretch. So, you're gonna engage your tummy muscles a little bit more. Think of bringing your hips towards your ribs just very slightly so that you feel nice and secure with your midsection. Bring one leg up to tabletop, and as you exhale, bring the other leg up, taking care not to allow your back to arch. If your back is arching, bring your knees a little closer. Think of engaging your tummy a little bit more. Legs together, hands on the knees. Single leg stretch, you're gonna stretch your right leg to a diagonal, hands on the left knee. Take an inhale here, and as you exhale, you're gonna swap. Now remember, you can have your cushion behind your head and that's always a good idea if you're feeling any neck strain. Take an inhale and exhale to swap. Now, you wanna be focused on keeping a really good connection through your lower abs so your back's not arching. Take an inhale, exhale, swap, and only go as low with that long leg as you can really keep a good connection. About 45 degrees away from you is a good position. And exhale to swap. Let's do two more here. Exhale. Exhale. Okay, now if you wanna try this with the head lifted, you're gonna nod your chin, take an inhale. Exhale, curl so you're looking towards your legs. And let's go for a set of eight on each side. So we exhale, four, one, and one. Nice and controlled, exhale, two, two. Now remember, head can go down if you're feeling any neck strain. Yes, three. And four, four, exhale, five, five, and six, six, go two more, seven, seven, go one more, eight, eight, come back to center, lower the head and chest down. Place your feet down, separate them to hip distance apart and bring them a little closer in than before, getting ready for some shoulder bridges. Now, if you have got a towel or cushion behind your head, remove it for the shoulder bridges. We wanna keep the neck nice and relaxed for this one. We're gonna be lifting the hips, working the muscles at the back of the body, working the glutes. So you're gonna press through your feet nice and gently, press through your heels, press through your arms a little bit and pick up your hips. Come up into a strong, straight ski slope position. Now you're not looking to arch your back in this one, so you wanna make sure you're nice and strong and straight in that ski slope. Take an inhale, 
And then as you exhale, think of hinging down from your hips. You're gonna do that again. So breathing in, breathe out, press into the heels, press into your hands, pick up your hips. Now, focus on your glutes in this exercise. They should be switched on. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, allow the glutes to release as you come back down. Breathing in and breathe out. Pick it up nice and strong. Breathing in and place the hips down. Again, breathing in and breathe out. Press and lift it up. Breathing in and lower it down. Now we're going to add some pulses into this so we can focus on the glutes a bit more. So breathing in, breathe out, press and pick it up. Now as you inhale, come about three or four centimeters down and you're gonna push through your hands and feet and press the hips up for 10 and nine and eight. Think lots of glutes as you do this one. And six and five and four and three and two. On the top of one, hold it there, take an inhale and lower the hips down. Let's try that one more time. Breathing in and breathe out. Press and pick it up long and strong and straight. Lower down. Now let's go down further this time, nearly all the way down, but not quite touching. And pulse it up for 10 and 9 and 8 and 7. Think lots of glutes. 6 and 5. And you're pressing your arms down gently. And 3 and 2 one and hold take an inhale now this time you're going to roll down through your spine just for a bit of a relax so exhale roll when you get to the bottom have a nice view and turn onto your side we're going to do a little bit of side leg work bottom leg is going to be bent to start off with top leg is straight kneecap is pointing forwards not down you're going to um, support your head with your arm you can always use your cushion uh, or your towel instead, if you want to. Make sure this leg is in line with your body and you're gonna softly point the foot and lift. You wanna go for length much more than height with this. So keep long through your top hip here, keeping your hips stacked. Flex your foot and lower. Inhale, point and lift. Exhale, flex and lower. Do that again, point and reach on the inhale. Flex and lower on the exhale. Point and reach on the inhale. Flex and lower on the exhale. Do two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Now lift the leg and hold it. Keep your hips really still. We're going to do circles with this leg. Small and quick. For six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there and reverse it for six. Six, five. Just keep breathing. Four, three, two, one. Now you're going to hold that leg lifted, slide the bottom leg out and then lower down. We're going to do double leg lifts here. Try and keep your upper body nice and relaxed. Take an inhale. As you exhale, gently squeeze your legs together and lift. Inhale, lower. Do that again. Exhale, lift and lower and reach and lift again. Going much more for length than height. Inhale, lower. Exhale, gentle squeeze of the inner thighs to lift and lower. Two more, lift, lower. Last one, lift and lower. Let's turn around. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So bottom leg is bent, top leg nice and straight. Hips are level and stacked. And you're going to softly point and lift and softly flex and lower. Do that again, point and lift, and flex and lower. Inhale, exhale. So you wanna make sure you're not crunching in this top hip. Inhale, exhale. So not too high with that bottom leg, or top leg rather. Go two more, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Now lift and hold, slide the other leg down, Bring your legs together. Take an inhale, double legs. Exhale, lift and inhale, lower. You're going to keep that going. Now just be aware, if you can, to keep your shoulders relaxed. It's really tempting to sort of tense up your shoulders as you do this one. 
but remind yourself you do not have to tense your shoulders to lift your legs. Let's do it again. Exhale. Inhale down. Exhale. And down. You've got two more. And you've got one more. And down. Beautiful. From there, you're going to come up onto all fours. Let's finish today with a cat stretch. So you're going to find a really lovely four-point kneeling position. Head is in line with the spine. Tailbone is long. Take an inhale here, and then you're going to start with your tailbone. So as you exhale, drop your tailbone towards the floor. Curl through your spine and look towards your thighs. Now relax your neck and shoulders as much as you can, but curl your spine. Take an inhale. And then from your tailbone as you exhale, start to lengthen back through. We're coming all the way back through to that lovely start position to neutral. Then you're going to open your chest a little, going into a little gentle extension. Breathing in and breathe out. So tuck from your tailbone, curl the spine, look towards your thighs. Breathing in and then nice and gently lengthen through. Open your chest, gently extend the spine. And last one, exhale, tuck and roll, curl your spine, breathing in. This time as you lengthen, you're just going to come back to neutral, so where you started, that long straight line. Okay guys, we've finished for today. I hope you enjoyed the workout and I really, really hope to see you next time. Thanks guys.